Hi guys, uh, Tony here with a new lesson. Uh, today we have The Weller Man uh, by Nathan Evans. This has been uh, very much requested by my younger students uh, over the last couple of weeks. They've been picking their guitars upside down, banging on top of them while I've been teaching. It's been very confusing. And then I realized why upon investigation that it's because of this TikTok sensation and fellow Scott, Nathan Evans. So I'm really excited to do a little guitar lesson on this today. I'm going to break down the chords so you can strum it and play it rather than you know just banging on your guitar that is absolutely fine if you want to bang on your guitar i don't think i need to do a lesson on that uh, but if you do want to uh, play the melody like you've seen in the video then just follow the uh the link below in the description if you're on youtube that'll take you to my website and you'll find the tab for it there so you just need to play along uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to break down the chords for the verse then the chorus and give you a little strumming pattern and a little cool lick to bring it all together as well. All right, so let's look at the chords first, okay? So we're playing in the key of A minor. Uh, Nathan Evans actually plays in the key of C minor. Uh, if you want to do it in that key, just pop a capo on the third fret, and uh, that's all you need to do, just play the same stuff. So an A minor, First finger on B in the, th uh, the first fret, middle finger on D in the second, third finger on the G in the second, and you play that from the A string. All right, we've got an A minor, we've got to play that twice. Then we're going to bring our fingers down to a D minor, you get your first finger on the high E in the first fret, middle finger on the G in the second, and your third finger on the B in the third, and you play the D string. D minor, we play that once, and then back to A minor again, okay? Then we're going to play A minor twice. And then an E, we just bring every finger up from A minor, one string, that gives us an E to play all the strings once, and then back to A minor again. So again, that progression is A minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, A minor, A minor, E, a minor. Now you want to do counts of two um, for this. So one, two, 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 one, two. And that's the verse. For the chorus, we've got an F, okay? So your first finger on the B, we've got to do a, a G F, uh, an F major seven. Our first finger on the B, um, in the first fret, middle finger on the uh, the G in the second fret, and our third finger on the D on the third fret. All right, we play that from the D string, okay? So, and again, just counts to two. We go one, two, and F. Move these two fingers up one to C. One, two, D minor, E minor. Then again, we go F, two, C, two, and then. E to E minor two. Okay, so again the chorus is F to C to uh, D minor two, uh, E minor two, F to C to E to E minor two. All right, now if we want to strum that, okay, and make it a little bit more exciting, we can do. Let's strum down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, one, two, 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 What I did there um, in the E chord, now this works uh, anytime you get into the E chord in this song. Um, you do this little lick. Uh, okay, so what I'm doing there, sorry. All right, so we've got two zero on the 
D, B2 on the A, and then two in A minor. All right, now you can do that within the E chord to beef it up a little bit. If it's too hard, you can just do. All right, or you can just do that by playing E to get that finger off. And then, bring your, uh, you, I bring my pinky up, you can bring your third finger if that's a bit too difficult, but I bring my pinky up to three, pinky off, and then E minor. All right, to spice up a little bit. All right, guys, so that's the lesson on the Wellerman. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you soon for a new lesson.